I was always that kid that was uh, packing a cat around, playing with a dog, or catching my horse to go for a ride. So I think I was destined to uh, be in a profession where I uh, spent all day with uh, our four-legged friends. My name is Kirby Pintilla and I am the owner and a practicing veterinarian at Burwash Equine Services. This job definitely stretches the definition of normal working hours. Um, I'm usually at the clinic from about 8 a.m. till 6 or 7 p.m. and then on call uh, evenings and weekends in case there's a horse in trouble that uh, needs our help. So it can be some pretty long days. Most days you'll find me with my hair pulled back, a pair of work boots on, and in clothes that are often covered in poop and all sorts of other things. Uh, some days it ain't pretty. We've got a uh, main exam area, uh, a bunch of stalls where we can hospitalize patients, and then uh, a whole pile of turnout pens. Just trying to steal my thunder. On the property right now, we probably have 20, 30 mares here still for breeding, um, and uh, a couple of stallions yet that are here for collection to ship out. I don't think you could uh, really separate a, a social life from a work life. Uh, horses are such an important part of my life that it's what I do both at work and at play. How old is he? He's uh, six years old. Oh yes, so he'll be with them for a while, a little while yet. <laughs> Starting out in this profession, it was pretty difficult to uh, convince clients that I was capable of doing the job. Can you put a finger back up there, Steph? Maybe stand on this side of me this time, yeah. It Thank just you. really takes a working knowledge of the horse, um, a working knowledge of what the, the person wants to do with their horse, and just to help them achieve their goals, you know, get some wins under their belt. Definitely a pretty high risk of injury in this profession, that's for sure. Um, actually, just, uh, just over a month ago, I took a pretty good uh, shot to the head and, and uh, spent a, a few days recovering from that. So It takes a, a whole lot of hard work, um, a lot of dedication, a passion for what we do, and uh, a set of support staff that are equally as dedicated and passionate. Each day as I leave the practice, I look out over the Rocky Mountains and it's, it's a beautiful sight. It makes you extremely happy to, to be able to work where you are. The little farms that we come across every day, it's, it's just amazing, all the, the nice little places tucked here and there. I decided to, uh, to practice in Alberta because it's, it's where the horses are. Um, I love the lifestyle here, I, I love the people here and there's so many great talented horses and, and uh, horse people that go along with them so it's, it's the place to be. Mm -hmm.